what's going on guys welcome back to the channel uh, if you're new here like and subscribe because most likely I'm going to cover a subject or provide some information of value to you to survive what's coming down the line uh, if you're not new here Share this with somebody that you feel like could get some use out of it. Um, I want to talk about something today that's pretty important. Not just in a survival situation or some of the odd prepper fantasies like Tiawaki or SHTF or... Uh, without rule of law or something like that. This... Can provide some usefulness in your everyday life the question is are you being baited and I'm gonna share some personal experience with you from from my life recently okay I'm working for a guy right now it's about the same age as me he's well he's three years older than me And one of my buddies is like a shop foreman, but not really, uh, not really a supervisor, doesn't really have any authority, but has tasks delegated to him. And this guy I'm working for. has a bad reputation and I want so bad to help him clean it up but I can't and it's not his it's not my fault uh, he's the kind of person that doesn't need any enemies because he's his own worst enemy and if you know me, you know I have a pretty sordid history. If you know me from like back in high school, I was pretty wild. Well, at one point, uh, I was a sheltered kid up until I was about 13, 14, 15. I was still a little bit wild before that, but after that, I was really wild until I was about 21. Uh, now, um, I try to help people. I, I want to see people do better for themselves. And sometimes, it's at my expense. And that's just how I am. That's how I was then, but, you know, if somebody crossed me the wrong way, we won't talk about what could have happened. Um, I was a great person until I wasn't, I put it like that. Or, uh, I was a great person in, until you made me not be. Uh, I'm still that person. And that's where this comes in because this guy, well, since then, especially since I moved to South Arkansas, I have tried to remove everybody from my life that did not provide some value. And it sounds kind of messed up, but not in the way that that sounds you know if if i can't learn anything from you that's fine you can be around but if you waste my time and energy and i can't learn anything from you that's a different story not that you provide a monetary value but can I learn anything from you? Can you show me anything? Can I glean anything from you? 
can I learn from your mistakes? You don't have to be a good person, but can I learn from your mistakes? Can I help you? Uh, should I be helping you? Uh, somebody that is always in the middle of controversy and drags me into the middle of it too and goes looking for fights and stuff like that. Those kind of people, is it, that's what I'm talking about that I cut out of my life. When I did, my life got a whole lot more peaceful. And so, this guy has told me that I'm working for, nobody has anything bad to say about you, man. I don't get it. Well, that's because I cut those people out of my life. So, with that said, there has been some ridiculous statements made to me. Not disrespectful, but just ridiculous statements, ridiculous claims about his productivity versus my productivity. Not work ethic, productivity, how much you can get done. Okay. Yeah, I got OCD a little bit. It, it really messes with me. Sometimes. Certain situations. But when you continuously come at me, I feel like you're trying to provoke a response. Hence, hence the... Uh, title of this video uh, my bad I think I was blocking off the uh, the microphone hence the title of this vehicle uh, video sorry are you being baited because I feel like I'm being baited right now I feel like he really wants me to respond in a negative way to his criticisms and I'm not that guy. In fact, I'm the type of guy that if I know or have a good idea that somebody wants a response from me, I'm probably not going to give it to them. That's my personality. So, I feel like I'm being baited. Now, they say misery loves company, but at this point, all I can do is sit back and wonder, does he want me to be the bad guy? Because there's no doubt that I can be. But does he want me to be? Because the ridiculousness of statements made is increasing. So, what do you do when you get in a situation like that? I want you guys' responses. Because, in some situations, that could be deadly. Um, in some situations, it could definitely be life-changing. So... I'm going to leave you with this piece of advice. Actually, I'm going to uh, tell you about a meme that perfectly describes this first. The A few years ago, there was this meme going around Facebook that was a picture of the edge of a rock jut jutting up into the skyline. And there was a bird taking off from it. And there was a German shepherd leaping off the edge for the bird. And it came with various, it came with various comments and, and uh, sayings. One of them was, things done in anger cannot easily be undone. So, my advice to you is if somebody's baiting you to provoke a response... 
take a minute think about it what is your best options you don't have to you don't even have to respond no one is forcing you to do anything we live well that's subjective that we live in a free country but you have bodily autonomy choose what's best for you in a situation like that not what's best for them or not what they want you to do y'all take care and have a blessed day